People aren't the only ones who need water. Pizza does too. Today on Classroom Pizza, we are talking hydration. You ready? It's time for class. If you didn't watch episode three last week, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Did that sound enough like a teacher for you? It's fine. Here's a quick rundown of what you missed. The yeast is eating the starch that's found in the flour. As it eats those sugars, it releases carbon dioxide. By giving it more sugar or more honey, we're giving it more food to eat over a smaller window of time. The second reason we add honey is because it helps with browning the pizza when we use a home oven. This week, the ingredient we're focusing on is water. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> the amount of water we use is called the hydration level. In the pizza world, one of the most argued about topics is how much water to use and what your baker's percentage should be for water. Quick refresher, baker's percentage is the amount of an ingredient that we're using as it relates to the amount of flour we're using. So again, if we have 100 grams of flour and let's say 70 grams of water, our percentage would be 70%. So that would be a 70% hydrated dough. When you see a recipe for a pizza dough or a bread dough online, social media, a friend tells you about a dough that they made, more often than not, they're gonna include the hydration percentage. So if someone posts a picture and says this dough was 70% hydration, what they mean is that it was 70% of the amount of flour was the amount of water they were using. Now you can go as low as 50%, 55%, as high as 80%, you could go higher if you're crazy, but what's really happening with the variations of our water? The first crucial role that water has in our dough is acting as a road for the yeast to go and find its sugar. Adding more water gives more roads so that the yeast can more easily find the sugar that it needs to eat. So you'll notice in a more hydrated dough a faster rise time because it's eating more sugars because it has more access to them. The other impact that water has on our dough is when we put it into the oven. Usually the goal for pizza, specifically Neapolitan pizza, is to have a crust that's very light and airy. This is achieved by having a higher hydration dough because when that dough goes into the oven and hits the heat, all the water that's present is gonna turn into steam. Therefore, more water means more steam. Think of it this way. Water as a solid takes up a certain amount of space in a dough, but when that water turns to steam, the space that it occupied is still present, but now it's empty. That's our dough pocket. This week, we're gonna experiment with two different hydration levels, 55% and 75%. We're gonna use the same recipe we've been using, and if you don't remember that, you can head on back to episode two, Getting Started, for a comprehensive guide on how to make our original pizza dough. But today, we're gonna to change only the hydration level, the amount of water in the dough. I've already prepped both our doughs. On the left here is our 55% hydration dough, and on the right is our 75% hydration dough. The sweet spot for our dough is somewhere between 60% and 70%. This is gonna vary based on your personal preference as well as the type of flour that you're using, the style of pizza you're going for, even the humidity in the air of where you live. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. A highly hydrated dough is the best way to get those air pockets on our crust, but there's a very practical difficulty with highly hydrated doughs. They're really hard to work with. They're super sticky. You can't add more flour because then you're messing with the baker's percentages. So here's a quick tip. For super high hydrated doughs, anything over 70%, I put it in a KitchenAid mixer and use the dough hook attachment. I mix it all together for about five minutes and then I let it sit for about 30 minutes. Mix again, let it sit. This is gonna build up the structure of the dough and it's gonna be a lot easier to work with. All right, so let's get to work here. First up is our low hydration dough. Now, let's get the high hydration dough ready. Into the oven they go for about eight minutes. Let's see how they turn out. Okay, here is our low hydration and here is our high hydration. You can definitely see the difference by comparing the crust. Notice the pockets formed in the high hydration as compared to the denser dough on the lower hydration. Homework time! 
Your homework this week is to play with the percentage of water you use in your dough. Try exaggerating it like we did today. Use 55% and then 75%. Then wherever you watch the video, come on back and leave a comment and let me know how it went. That's it for today's episode of Classroom Pizza. As always, see you next week and thanks for coming to class.